joke of an interrogation. Have, have you guys seen the Stephanie Lazarus case before? Do you get secondhand embarrassment from this interrogation? Let me give you guys some backstory on what happened with this case overall. This was the murder of Sherry Rasmussen. And when we go back to the beginning, Stephanie Lazarus was dating this guy named John. I think it was John Britton. John and Stephanie, they're kind of like hooking up in college or whatever, having a good time. But, you know, John was telling his friends, like, Stephanie's kind of crazy, but, you know, she just keeps coming over and throwing it back. So, like, whatever, you know. And so they keep kind of hooking up and da-da-da-da. And, you know, y'all know this story. Some of you are this girl, too. The one that thinks that eventually they're going to get the guy Okay, Cassie. <laughs> After a while, they stop hooking up and Stephanie is still obsessed with John. She's obsessed, but she's trying to play cool girl. What she didn't expect was that John was going to find somebody else. This person that John found was much, much different than Stephanie. She was kind. She was patient. She was sweet. She wasn't manipulative. She wasn't the bad girl. She was just a really nice girl. And she was everything that Stephanie wasn't. And so when Stephanie tries to play cool girl and just compartmentalize everything and convince herself that she doesn't care, well, she can't hold it in anymore when there's competition because now Stephanie's jealous. I got to tell you guys a little bit about jealousy. Jealousy always involves three. Jealousy is the fear that you are going to lose your relationship with something to somebody else. It could be a person. It could be alcohol. If you're in a relationship with a severe alcoholic, you would be jealous of the alcohol because that's weakening your relationship. Jealousy appears when there is a threat that is going to weaken our bond with something we really, really care about. So jealousy has a lot of intense emotions behind it. And everything that Stephanie tried to pack away just came to the surface when Sherry entered the picture. And so it starts out with threats. It starts out with her, you know, Stephanie peacocking. She would show up to places that she knew Sherry was going to be and she would come dressed up all hot, you know, trying to compete. She's entering a competition that doesn't exist. There's one story where Stephanie actually showed up after sleeping with John while they were dating. They were she was in this she was entering this whole power struggle that didn't exist stephanie shows up at sherry's job dressed up to the nines heels stomach out hair done and she's like hey you bitch you're fucking my man and sherry's like i don't know what you're talking about because it's actually my man and wait y'all had sex <laughs> and let me explain this one you want to know how stephanie ended up sleeping with john she wouldn't stop harassing sherry and so john is like okay i'll go talk to her and stephanie goes oh john please just one last time just one last time together and i'll let it all go and then he fucked her and then he hooked up with her guys if a girl ever does this to you it is not just one last time and so after that happened that's when stephanie comes showing up at sherry's job okay do y'all see the, the picture that the everything that, that is being painted here and it escalates and it escalates and escalates and stephanie just can't win she can't she can't win this battle and oh my god john marries her and john's not gonna invite stephanie to the wedding so at one point stephanie lazarus becomes a police officer and there's a lot of different things that make me feel like stephanie has some kind of obsession with power power over others power over things and you know she gets a job as a police officer not even a few months into being an officer stephanie shows up at sherry's house when john is gone and they break out into a fight, a struggle. Sherry's not prepared for this. She's in her nightgown. Stephanie has shown up. I believe she showed up in her officer uniform on a day off of work. And she beat this woman to death. She beat her. I believe she shot her. She bit her. She literally bit her on the hand. And she killed her. And John came home to find his wife murdered. And everybody knew that it was Stephanie. But nobody could prove it. So see, Stephanie was a trained police officer at the time, and she did a really, really, really good job of making the murder scene actually look like a burglary. So she gets away with it. She gets away with it for, I want to say, 20 years until the cold case department shows up. And look, let me tell you, the, the police officers, they rotate in and out of the cold case department. You know what happens? 
Young bloods, they want to prove themselves. That's what we love. We love a young blood in the cold case department that wants to prove himself. And they look at these case files and they're like, um, can we look at Stephanie Lazarus who works in the precinct next door? What ends up happening is they had DNA from the bite. Years later, at the time, this DNA evidence didn't exist when Stephanie committed this murder. And afterwards, they had actually tested the bite and they had the DNA. So these officers followed Stephanie Lazarus around until she finished her cup of coffee that morning. And on that cup of coffee, which she threw away in the trash, which is now public domain, they tested her DNA. And it was an exact match to the bite mark on Sherry Rasmussen's hand. What I'm going to show you guys now is after they confirmed with DNA evidence, they called Stephanie into this interrogation room as a fellow officer. Okay. This, this is a... Uh, this is... Hold on. This is her. <laughs> Immediately. She says... She says, no shit. We've been assigned a case that we've been looking at. Okay. okay. It's a new case. And reviewing the case, there's some notes uh, to see that, as far as oh. your name being mentioned. Oh, do you, okay. Do you know John Rutten? She said, oh, okay. Rutten? Rutten. Oh, yeah, I went to school with him. You did? Yeah. How long did you know him? Gosh, well, I went to school in, um, let's see, went to UCLA in 1978, I started. and A lot of distancing. If you were obsessed with a girl or guy in high school, or they, anybody in high school, and then years later, somebody asked about them, like, would you just be like, oh, yeah, we went to school together. <laughs> Obviously hiding something. You know, met him. Especially if everyone knows that y'all were hooking up. Mm -hmm. um, were you guys friends, close friends? Yeah, we're very close friends. I yeah. Mean, I mean, what's this all about? Well, it's regarding, it's a case we're working on and it involves John and in there, some of the statements we, we reviewed, uh, you know, there's notes and stuff that he, that he knew you and stuff. Oh yeah, I mean, we good friends, um, lived in the dorms for, I lived in the dorms for two years. Um, you guys lived in the same dorm? Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah, Dijkstra. Okay. Were you guys just friends or anything else? or? Yeah, we were We were good friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was there any relationship or anything that developed? It's like we're trying to see how truthful Stephanie is going to be up front without being asked too much. And it seems like she really likes to keep as much information as close as possible. Yeah, I mean, we dated... Uh, uh -huh. Oh, you now know, you dated. Um, First you went to I school mean, together, now you dated. What's this all about? Well, it's relating to uh, his wife. Okay. Okay. Did you know her? Not really. Oh my I God. mean, I knew that he got married years ago. Uh huh. Did you ever meet her? God, I don't know. Um, Do you know who she was or anything? Well, I. Let me think. God, it's been a long time ago. Mm -hmm. um, I, I may have met her. Bro. Knowing everything I just told you about this case, knowing what Stephanie did is like, isn't it mind blowing watching her trying to talk her way out of this right now? Hey, let me ask you, you said you, you dated John. How long did you guys date? I mean, well, are you guys, is this something, I mean, you said that I was going to interview somebody about art and how well, you guys are. Here's, here's, <laughs> oh my God. I mean, Stephanie, here's the situation. Kid. Basically, we... You know, we knew that this, uh, when we saw this in the in, in this chrono, that maybe, you know, there was some relationship there. That's what the chrono seemed to indicate. And we didn't want to come up to you at your desk and ask those kinds of questions or do anything. You know how up there people can see what's going on if you go into an interview room or people are in there getting oh, supplies. Okay. I mean, so we, we wanted to afford you. So they're you. trying to build rapport with her by saying like, hey, this is really serious and we got to ask you some questions. But we, we didn't want everyone in your business. So come on, we're, we're on your side. Just... Give us what give us what you know. Think you know you're married to someone else, obviously, and so forth, and that you may not want to you know talk about these things in that setting where someone you know we don't want the rumor mill or gossip or any of that kind of stuff. Yeah, to I mean, start. that's fine. I mean, so we we did this just as as a means to try and speak to you in okay, just a confidential I mean, I place where you you know where where your business isn't out there for other people in, in well, you know I mean, your division yeah, and all I mean, about. You know, God, that's been a million years ago. I mean, what year is it now? Two thousand nine. I mean, I graduated in eighty two. 82, yeah. Rambling, um, distancing. You know, we dated. Um, I dated other guys. I'm sure he dated other girls. Um. This interview is just so unique because very often we see interrogations where the person prior to being interrogated knows they're probably going to get interrogated and they start to get their story straight. Or they, you know, something happens and they get pulled in, but while they're waiting for a few minutes, they kind of start to 
calm themselves or shut things down in their head. They literally just straight up tricked Stephanie. They told her they wanted to do like an art interview with her. And then this is what it is. Correct me if I'm wrong, because from what you're telling me, you, you guys dated while you were in college together, right? Yeah, and probably after college. Okay. Um, I'm, I, I can't. Jeez, Tom and um, Stephanie I Hill. When I met my husband, I met my husband, Scott, when I was teaching Dare up in Oregon. But we had long stopped, you know, dating before that. So you um, haven't talked to him for a long time? Oh, I, I think I haven't talked to him in a long time. Um, I couldn't even tell you when the last time I talked to him. Um, I met Scott, I'm thinking, in 92, maybe, um, April of 92. It was Scott being your husband. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I was teaching Dare. Woo! That that heart grab, this like, I mean, think about it, guys. How often do you do this? This is like, um, I need to call myself. <laughs> my heart's beating out of my chest. Ah, oh, man, John in 92. I got married in 96. <laughs> I think I met Scott in 92. Prior to that, I couldn't tell you how long I had talked, you know, talked to John prior to that. But mm -hmm. since, um, you, since you met your husband, Scott, you haven't talked to him? I mean, he may have called me. Uh, once or twice uh -huh. before we got married. Right. Uh, quite honestly, I probably keep in contact with a few people from the dorms. We oh we all we all live on the tenth she is floor. Panicking. Um, and um, about three or four people I keep in contact with. There's probably like six or eight of us that were all really close. Mm -hmm. And who are those um, people? Oh, geez. Um, Diana Basta. Um, People I still keep. I I haven't been in contact with her in a long time. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, wh have you ever had a panic attack before? And sometimes you don't need this, but sometimes you do. You need somebody to keep you talking calmly, keep your mind off of the anxiety. Like when your panic attack is at a ten, like that shit doesn't work. It's like get away from me. But what, you know, sometimes when the panic attack is coming or the anxiety is rising, you like to just keep talking, kind of rambling, keep it going because I can focus on my words instead of the anxiety and I can just keep going. That's kind of what Stephanie's doing here. There's actually a phrase for this type of rambling, but just in layman's terms, that's kind of what she's doing. She's trying to figure out her story while she uses the talking to keep her baseline. But I don't think she realizes how panicked she's coming off. But what, you know, what's, uh, what's, I mean, what's it all about? <laughs> what, what, I mean, what is this? Well, let me ask you, what ended the relationship between you and John? Oh. You know, I don't, it was kind of a weird relationship. I mean, what? we, we, what? we dated, um, I can't say that he was my boyfriend. I don't know that he would consider me his girlfriend. Um, we just, we dated, we did things. I played sports in college. He played basketball. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. It was like, I went out with other guys, um, saw other guys. I went on lots of vacations. Wow. Uh, and, and it's so funny here because here she's portraying herself as the exact opposite of what she was. She was trying to portray herself as someone that accepted the fact that it didn't work out. Things ended. I saw other guys. He saw other girls. End of story. That is not what happened at all. And she knows that. Um, you know... And, and once you guys split, were you guys still friends or kind of? Uh, <laughs> oh, you know, geez, in her um, morty voice. <laughs> friendly, not friendly. No, I don't think it was not friendly. I mean, we were friendly. Um, uh, I know that we went to Hawaii um, at one point. Um, another friend of mine, who's actually dying right now, uh, was uh, went to Hawaii with us um, at some point. That's uh, so interesting. Whenever she wants to elicit sympathy, she makes direct eye contact with them. She rambles and rambles and rambles. Here's this thing that I don't care about. Blah, 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 blah. Da, 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 da. And then I lost my house in the flood. Ramble, ramble, ramble. I'm doing this, you know, da, 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 da. Golly gee, I don't remember this. And my friend that's dying right now. Like, I actually don't know why she's doing that. But I don't know. I just wanted to point it out to you guys. It's really interesting. I have to check my pictures. Um, or I... I'd say I'd ask Greg, but my friend Greg is like dying of liver cancer right now. Mm. She did it again. Um, she did it again. The only time she makes. Know. Had you ever met his wife? <gasps> I may have. Do you know? Do you remember her name or anything? Or, oh my god. Um, or what she did? Yeah, for leave him, Greg or, out of this. Worked or anything um, about her? Well, I think she. I th I'm going to say that I think she was a nurse. Um, yeah, because you showed up at the hospital, Stephanie. And I can't Come remember on. how he, he said he met her. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, I mean, it's been so long ago. Well, let me ask you, did you go to their wedding, you know? No, I didn't go to their wedding. Wasn't invited. Um, no, I don't, did not go to their wedding. That's a pain um, point, huh? Couldn't even tell you what year he got married. 
I mean, you know, it's, mad about it's been that. a million years ago. I don't understand why you're talking what? about some guy I dated a million years ago. Well, do you know what happened to his wife? Yeah, I know she got killed. <gasps> What, did you, what, um, did you what happened to that? all that before when you were I got when you were like you didn't know at work um I'm sure I spoke to him about it and how did how did you first learn about that I also find it interesting that when she talks about um the murder of Sherry Rasmussen the things that she's pointing out to me personally they strike me as things that um a killer would be proud of if she was at the police department days after killing Sherry Rasmussen and saw a poster of the person she murdered in the police department hanging up I think she was proud of that. Why did she talk to John's friends about it? I think she was proud of that. She wanted to know, did I get away with it? Did people know? So these are the details that Stephanie chooses to remember in this interrogation. Not, oh, people were so sad. Oh, I, I heard about the funeral. I saw it on the news. No, the th it was the thing she was proud of. Another friend of his about it. Um, and how did, how did you first learn about that? Someone could have called me. I could have heard it at work. Um, I think at one point there may have been a flyer or something. I know a good friend of his... Um, Were you on the job back then when that happened? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm sure I was on the job. That's why I would have heard about it with the flyer. Um, you said you thought his wife was a nurse. Do you have any idea where she was working at the time? or Did um, he ever mention that to you? Now, this is a great question because, like I said, Stephanie showed up at Sherry's job. So let's see what she says. Was it a hospital or a doctor's office? I'm or? sure he must have mentioned it. Now, now that you're bringing that up, I think she worked at a hospital somewhere. And yeah, I may have met her at a hospital. Um, I may have talked to her once or twice. Um, at, a, at a hospital? Or more, um, but, you be, know. But being that you were kind of used to see uh, John, you know, was it everything okay between you guys? I mean, there was never anything uncomfortable or anything between you and her? Um, you know, I don't know. I mean, it's God, it's been so many years. I mean uncomfortable I mean I, I, I can't even I can't even remember if we had a conversation I mean we may have I may have I may have seen her at his apart you know it, uh, geez how many years ago was that I don't even know what year she you know got killed where was his apartment on Roscoe uh, he'd still call me um, I can't say that I would I mean if he's married I don't know that I would have called him I mean maybe who knows <laughs> I, you know I, I don't know what Literally, her just saying the opposite. This is what these people do. They tell the truth about a bunch of things, and they give extreme detail in the things that they're telling the truth about. And then when it comes to the lie, just quick, blow through the lie real quick. She said, ah, I don't even think I would have called him because he was married. Girl, you slept with him before he got married when they were still dating. You killed his wife. You were showing a better job. What do you mean you wouldn't have called if you knew he was married? A million years ago. How long was John married? before his wife died. I couldn't, I have no idea. I have no idea. Miss Shell said, is this even legal to interrogate by tricking her into coming in? Can't she just request a lawyer and leave? Absolutely, but what these officers are doing is they started off the conversation by saying like, hey, you know, we gotta ask you a few questions. We didn't wanna do it out there because, you know, people, you know, get all nosy and get in your business. They got in her head early about like, if you ask for an attorney, people are going to start talking. So now she feels like maybe she can talk her way out of this without getting an attorney. I mean, when, when you heard about uh, John's wife being killed, I mean, what was your, what was your reaction? I mean, when did, you thought you heard about it, what, through a friend or in a, in a bulletin or Either something? Either a friend or a bulletin. Um, I obviously, I mean, I called, I called the family. Um, I, um, I called maybe some of his friends that, that, that I knew. And I mean, obviously it's shock if you're, if I heard it at work, okay. you know, um, which I may have, I, I faintly remember a bulletin going around. Um, either Sorry guys, I tried to find a picture of her husband and this is like, this is literally all that came up. <laughs> uh, and then I called, probably called his family. Like, That's not um, him. Called, uh, I don't know initially, I can't say if I initially spoke to him or not. <clears throat> I honestly don't remember. I may have said to somebody, hey, have him call me if he wants to talk. And then he may have done that. Uh huh. Um, you know. Um, Do you know what the circumstances were regarding her death? Mm, I don't know if it was, you know, if it was a burglary or something. Oh, oh uh, yeah, she set it up I mean, as a burglary. Years, okay, guys, I, we're getting to the push. 
think that I may have saw a flyer. So don't forget, in interrogations, we build rapport, and then they do a little push to see what information you're going to give, and then they retract a little bit, and then they go for the big push to see what information you're going to take out and how you react to the big push. So I think this is our first little push. Do you remember you know. the first name? <sighs> Shelly, um, <laughs> oh, yeah, Sherry, right. I don't know, something maybe, you know. No! Um, like I said, it's been so many years, and... Um, from all the years, as far as you can remember, you don't do you remember ever talking to her? You know what's really odd about that when they say what what's your what's her name and she said oh I don't know Shelly Sherry something like that. Usually when we're running through different names and then we get to the name we think oh that's it or you know what I think that's it. We don't just go maybe Shelly I don't know. It, it, once we hear it, it it sparks it up and my God does she know this woman's name? You mentioned a hospital maybe you may have talked to her at a hospital. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I may have, you know, I'm, I'm thinking back now, you guys are bringing up all these whole memories. No, it kind of dusts um, off the cobwebs. You know, I mean, geez. Oh, um, okay, I'm remembering now. At one point, I mean, he may have been dating her, or I don't know, maybe he was married. I don't even remember. And I'm like, you know what, why are you calling me if you're either dating her or living with her or married to her? Because I, I, I honestly don't remember the time frame. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm like, oh, come on, knock it off. And I'm and now I'm thinking I put, may I may have gone to her and say hey you know what, you know what is he dating you he's but he's bothering me, um, oh, and so I'm thinking that we had a conversation about that like at like at her work or at their at their house or no I'm thinking that I'm you know he obviously must have told me where she worked I'm thinking it was a hospital somewhere I mean I could have been working in Hollywood it sounds like if if that's where I was working, um, so I could have said okay well you know and I went and talked to her. Um, and just said, hey, you know what, um, you know, if he's dating you, he's, he's keeps calling me, why don't you tell him to knock it off or whatever, and, you know, because I probably would have told him to knock oh, it off. Oh, that's not... You, you know. told John. Oh, yeah. Oh. So that is actually not how it happened at all. Like I said, Stephanie showed up at the hospital, done up to the nines, and came in and basically just started berating Sherry. Other people in the hospital saw. They're the ones that responded to the police report. There is record of every single thing that Stephanie was doing. So no, she didn't walk into the hospital while she was on duty in Hollywood and say, hey, your boyfriend keeps calling me. So, well, you need to get your man. Anyways, have a good day at work. And when you and when you say that you may have, um, you know, that you talked to his wife, said, hey. <laughs> what facial expression is that? When you said like, hey, you know, he's calling me, he needs to knock it off or what have you. I mean, was that was that civil? Was there? I mean, oh yeah, it... no, there was not. I don't think there was yeah, anything. It was, it was it, the conversation what? lasted a, a, a few minutes. So I can't even remember. And what is it like? You know, we went out to lunch or anything. Right, but there was but no like arguments or fights or it didn't so. get heated or anything like not that. Not that I recall. No, I mean. So w Stephanie's in complete denial right now. When you try to break through somebody's denial, which is their first defense mechanism, you're going to reach emotion. Probably her default when you break her denial is anger. That's a lot of people. Some people, when you break their denial and you break through the other side, you get extreme sadness, overwhelming emotion. But then underneath that emotion is the truth. And they're using that emotion to basically protect themselves and you from encountering what the truth is. So you didn't have any problems with her then? No. You didn't have any issues with her? No, but, I mean... But let me, let me ask you. It seems like you didn't have any issue. Now, did she have an issue with you as far as... Oh. Because now you're telling her, hey, you know, Helma, stop calling. Now she, you know, she's like, hey. you know, you figure she'd be threatened oh. by you. You know, I, I don't know. I mean... From what you remember as far as when you talked to her, maybe you didn't take it as serious, <laughs> but maybe, you know, did she... She was bugging. I mean, like, was she throwing things at me or something? Or, well, no, just, you know. As far as you're trying to explain, like, hey, have him stop calling me, you know, stop playing games. You know, I, I tell you, it, if the conversation, I couldn't even tell you how long the conversation, if you said, did it last a half an hour? Did it last three minutes? Did it last 20 minutes? I can't even remember. It's been so long ago. Yeah, all that you know? adrenaline. Um, that's why. You just remember Stephanie. talking to her, telling her. Yeah, and that's that why you said, how many times you talked to her? I don't know how many times I talked to her. Maybe it was once, maybe it was twice, maybe it was three times. You know, I, I honestly don't know. I mean, what's this got to do with me dating him and, you know, her getting killed? I mean, I, I, I don't, you know, I don't have anything to do with it. And you got something that's, somebody said, you know, 
whatever. I mean, well, like we said, we, j- we just literally got this the other day, and, and you're going through it. Yeah. And you see, and you saw me say, your oh, name. Nick's next door. Right. And, <laughs> and so, you know, I mean, obviously, it's like Hello, we recognize the name. We know, you know, you <laughs> yeah. work next door to us. And so we're trying to get some background. We're trying to figure this out. I mean, this is from a long time ago. Oh, I know. And you know, and, and, and things have been kind of slow for us. And so, you know, Chief Beck has said, hey, you know, I want you. They- there is no world where Stephanie wants them to investigate even a shred of this case. Like, there's there's no world at all. So anytime that they say to her, hey, we just, you know, we just want a few details. We just want a little help. You know, we don't know if we're going to get anything done today, but we just want to know. that Those statements alone terrify her. They terrify her. But I don't know if her level of panic can exceed where you guys we're working. at I don't now. want you just sitting around reading the paper. Yeah. So he's kind of pushing some older cases out even to the guys that yeah. work active cases because, you know, and so we see this and we're just like, oh, yeah. well, we, you know, we want to talk to you about it. But, of course, the only reason we did it here is because we're getting into some pretty personal stuff no, in your I relationship. You know, my I, my and, husband's yeah. on the job yeah. and, and we've and been so married we don't, you know, we don't a want to take the risk. We don't want to take the risk we're in one of those interview rooms. No, and even when the door closes, someone's going to get no. supplies and see us on a monitor or hears yeah. or whatever. No, I appreciate it. I mean, I you know, appreciate, like I appreciate it. Like That's where people it. go when there's no. orals. You know, when they're doing orals, yeah. guys will go in there and oh, try and watch. Like, oh, what are the answers to the questions? You know, I didn't know that. Yeah, so so we just we just want to being the target of somebody's obsession can be really scary because what obsessive love is basically from the person that's obsessed is it's like you do something for me and I like that and that makes me happy and so I need you to be here and I need you to stay at all costs because I don't know what you're doing for me but I like it and I need you to stay and for the receiving end that's fucking terrifying especially like if you're a dude in college that's just trying to hook up and she keeps throwing it back because you know she just want and you're like okay like this is cool but after a while it gets really scary because you don't understand you're like I'm not that, I don't feel like you like me for me. Like there, there's something else going on here. During that time that you were seeing John, uh, you know, was he acting kind of, you know, kind of squirrely or kind of sneaking around when he'd hook up with you or anything like that to make you think, hey, you may, yeah, this oh, guy. He probably is. was, I mean. I mean, because the impression I get is you've known him a long time. Well, let's see. From what, early I met him in 78. Here we go, she's about no, to recount I, again. I met him in school, I started UCLA in 78. So you know him well during that period of time. Yeah, I mean... When you're dealing with a manipulative person, I mean, we can all agree that she's pretty manipulative, right? When you're dealing with a manipulative person, I think it's important to recognize the ways in which they manipulate by default. And it's really hard to see when you're close to the problem or you're in the conversation, but maybe you can see it with other people or as a third party. Here, we can kind of see Stephanie is very, very good at making people doubt themselves. It's not working here, but that's her main tactic. When you say something and she goes, oh, I don't know. (laughs) What? Those are the kind of things that make you doubt yourselves and make you doubt your words. Makes you feel like what I'm saying must be too much. What I'm saying is so outlandish. She's pretty decent at that. Another thing that she does is overwhelming with information, exhausting you to the point that you don't want to ask anymore. The ways in which people manipulate, they stay exactly the same usually. It's it's just their default tools. Was he acting squirrely? You know, I don't even remember where he was living then. Here's this, this is about to be the second But it's push. safe to say that would have been the only time, like for something social. So just a reminder, because I want you guys to be on the same page as me, Stephanie showed up at Sherry's house when Sherry had taken the day off work. They were both off work that day. John was already gone for the day. Stephanie had been scoping out the house. And yeah, so she knows exactly where they lived. Yeah, if I went there for Now they're pushing her on it. Yeah, I mean. Because I know you you went to talk to her at at the hospital uh, regarding this issue with John. To, you know, kind of like, hey, you know, what's going to happen here with this thing? But would this ever have followed up to her house when you went to talk to her to say, hey, you know what? I, I don't even know that I knew where they lived. I, oh. you know, that's what I'm saying. I don't, if I knew where they lived and I'd been there, if it was for something social, I, I would, I'm, I'm, and I can't see how many times I, I saw her face to face. You know, he lived on Roscoe. Did I ever see her there? I don't know. I mean, I may have seen her at his apartment on Roscoe. Mm-hmm. I may have met her there. I, you know, I, I mean. But you didn't have any issues with her, right? No, I mean, you know, obviously, if he was dating me and dating her, I probably said, hey, pick or something, you know, you know back then. Um, I can't say that we, 
ever screamed or yeah you know i love how she said oh yeah i probably went up there and said oh hey you know you need to pick between the two of us when she claims that she had moved on and she was telling sherry you know your man's still calling me up like just just pick one of us that's not how that happens i mean would you remember if she snapped on you and just like hey man it's my man you know you get it. leave him alone you know blah 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 that kind of stuff you know I mean, would you remember an incident like that? I mean, because that would be like, what? Well, you know, and maybe that, <laughs> that happened. Like, I mean, uh, uh, gosh, I, you know, it's been so long ago. I, you know, I just, I mean, that's not ringing a bell. Because mm -hmm. um, I mean, the times I've seen you around at our office. I'm crazy. <laughs> you know, but you're always you know, kind of like real, I mean, you seem kind of bubbly. Oh, I'm, pr I'm you but, know, people think I'm really hyper. Um, but I can, I mean, I can get... I can get upset, you know, and, and then I forget five seconds later, you know, you know how guys razz you and you go, ah, you know, um, I mean, I've done that in the office, you know, but it's like, and then I'm, you know, and then I'm, and then she's chill, you know, and then after that, uh, you know, I, after she goes, ah, then she's chill, girl. She's just chill. She's just cool. She's just chill. I mean, people Water think, under the bridge. Yeah, I mean, it's like people think I'm crazy, and then they think I'm crazy at home, and I'm, you know, more. I'm, <laughs> I'm a hyper person at work. I'm, you know, I, I enjoy my job. I get excited. I, you know, um, I, I enjoy the job. I've always enjoyed the job. Um, well, you got a good gig, so. <laughs> you know, um, so you know, I, I, you know, I don't know. It's like, like I said, this stuff's been so long ago. Um, you know, I'm sure as soon as I walk out of here, I'll go, oh, shoot, I did 25 things I'll remember, um, you know. But she'll call uh, us, or, I mean, you'll just come over to our desk yeah, and tell Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what else you need to know. Like I said, you know, we, we knew friends together. A lot of the friends that, you know, that we socialized in the dorms, I would say, I mean, there was a group of us that um, we were all really close. I mean, even this one guy I was thinking of, you know, um, Diana Basta. We were all really close. I haven't talked to her in a million years. Um, Diana Basta being a friend of you and John's, or yeah, we all lived. Um, if you were friends with a little friend group, and then you suspect that somebody in the friend group, you know, killed somebody else in the friend group, you'd probably stop talking to them. It seems to me like Stephanie keeps remembering details of things that she's angry about. That one jumps out to me as like. I can't believe she stopped talking to me. I can't believe she didn't buy my bullshit. I can't believe she realized that I probably really did hurt Sherry. Like on the dorms, on the dorms together. I don't know if she lived on the same. We, I'm trying to think. I think I know John lived on our floor because his roommate was Dave Newman. Dave Newman now is a big, huge, big shot. Whatever. But Sherry wasn't part of this circle. No, I don't even know how he how he met her. I don't even know where. I mean, I don't know where he met her so from. I don't even know. If he told me where he met her from. I mean, he may have told me. I, okay. you know, that's not ringing a bell. Um, and there was lots. I mean, you know, there's just there was other people that knew other people. Um, you know, that were friends of everybody's. Um, you know. Um, I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. Well, one of the concerns I had is looking at some of the notes is uh, some of Sherry's friends said that you and her were having a problem <laughs> because of the John situation. What? What? <laughs> well, I, number one, I don't know who her friends are. Because, yeah. um, again, I don't, I don't recall if you did tell me. What was that? Look at the head gesture. Look at this head gesture. Watch it. Just watch it. This is too funny. Um, because again, I don't, I don't recall if you did tell me where you met her. Because I don't, I don't, um, recall. <laughs> and I don't even want to say I spoke to her five times because that's probably not even true. I, I, I can't even remember. Um, again, did I meet him at her plate when he, you know, he lived on Roscoe for, I think, uh, quite a while, but I couldn't tell you how it long it was in Roscoe. And the only reason I remember the place now is because it's like a huge dope, dope place now where they, you know, it, it may have been back then, but, you know, maybe we didn't know back then. Um, Here we go, guys. I could have met her it's there. The I could have, you know, uh, I, you know, I don't even know that I met any of their friends. I, I, you know, I don't, I, I, I can't say that. I don't know that that's a true statement. Well, that's what I'm reading is that you guys had problems with each other and words were being exchanged and it's all relating to John. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
So now but, what the officer's doing is, in that first put, he let Stephanie tell her entire series of events. And he kind of glazed over it like, oh yeah, sure, we believe you. And now he's tracking back and saying, so I actually have differing information about what you told me earlier. This is going to get Stephanie really in her head because she's going to start to think, well, what else did you let me talk about that you had information on? And what else do I look stupid about now? It's it's really going to freak her out. I mean, it seems like, yeah, you would recall something if somebody's I would, going I would off think, on you, right? I would think. I mean, I would think. I would think. Yeah. Because yeah. um, yeah, it's... Okay. But that I, you know. But it seems like your relationship with John was kind of, I mean, you've known each other for a lot of years. Yeah, it was just kind of, it was like, oh. But it doesn't seem to me from what you tell me. I mean, we were never engaged. I right. mean, it wasn't yeah. like we were planning to get married. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it was like, mm -hmm. it, it was, uh, I don't know how to describe it. I mean. Would you say there wasn't a lot of drama in this relationship? Oh, no, I don't think there was drama. Uh, yeah, so I mean. That's why I'm asking as far as what the friends are saying in regards to this, you know, the problems that they're saying you were having with, with Sherry. I mean, it seems you know, like the relationship is just going on an even plane. That just. I wasn't going to call that out, but y'all did. Just what he said. She was definitely playing in her head. She probably wanted the marriage. That's another detail that jumps out to me as something she's mad about. Well, we were never engaged. We were never, like, planning a wedding. You know? But it, I, it's the way I, she I says some of it. I don't have a recollection it. of that at all. No. No. And because from what you're telling me is when you guys met at the hospital, uh, I mean, you guys talked, but it wasn't, from what you recall, confrontational I don't think so. from either side? I, don't know. I, I mean,. I'm trying to, you know, turn my memory back, you know, and I'm trying, I can't even, I can't even picture the, you know, picture the, the conversation. I mean, I can't even picture the conversation. Well, let me ask you, I mean, at the hospital, it never got to the point where people are going, hey, hey, you know, go to, everybody go to your own corner type of thing. I don't think so. Nothing like that? I don't think so. Yeah. I mean, I really don't. I mean, if you, if, you know, if you say people said that, that's not ringing a bell to me at all. I mean, it's not. I mean, that, that's not ringing a bell to me. Everyone says it except for me. So I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe going, okay, you guys relax, you know, or anything like that. Think so. About you know ever going to her house and having a dispute like that. You know, I'm just. If I met her ever at his apartment, maybe. I mean, maybe we could have met. I could have met at her apartment. I'm thinking that. The hospital thing, that sounds familiar, that I, I met her there. I just can't say that I've ever, I, again, was I there with other people? I, I don't, I, I, it, I don't know. You know, it, it's been, I, I'd have to go, almost go back and look at pictures. Because I take pictures, I mean, I usually, when I have, I go to functions, I have 10,000 pictures, okay? I'm a picture nut. Mm -hmm. I love how she looks around the room after that. I, 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 you guys probably hate when I randomly stop and I do this, but I can't help it. I can't help it. I'm a picture nut. I'm just a picture nut. <laughs> what is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? <laughs> I need you to picture that you're at a party and everyone's sitting there and they're holding their drinks. This is my drink. And they're just talking and they're hanging out and they're like, oh, fuck. What, dude? Stephanie's here. Stephanie, oh my god, yeah, she's such a fucking picture nut. All right, good one, good one. John, Katie, line up, line up. Yeah, that's nice. Michael, down, okay, portrait, 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 portrait. You guys are next, stay right there, stay right there. That's a good pose, I like the dress. Change the shoes, change the shoes. Like, what is that? What is a picture nut? And this is an incident where you showed up, you weren't supposed to show up, and things got heated. At his house? Yeah. <laughs> that I, you know, I, that just doesn't sound familiar. I mean, no, I no. I, you know, it's not sounding familiar. So not at all. Now you're saying not familiar because it's just something well, you remember or it's well, just... Well, you know what? I would have then I'd have to say I don't remember because I don't remember. I it, that doesn't sound familiar. I, I mean, would you, you know, remember something like that in your life? If, well, I would. Think, did someone just say you got dementia at this point? <laughs> the other woman type of thing. Did you, ever, did you ever fight with her? You mean like we fought? Yeah. Did you ever yeah. duke it out with her? No, I don't no, because Sherry never so. hit you I mean, back. You'd remember that, right? That would be pretty. 
them. Yeah, I would think so. I Pretty mean, specific. Uh, you know, yeah, like I said, I mean, dramatic. obviously, uh, I, you know, I mean, it just doesn't sound familiar. I mean, I mean, what are they saying? So I, I, I fought with her. So, so now, I mean, I, 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 I'm get, getting the jump, of the leap. Excuse what does that mean? Me. I haven't eaten. Um, getting the jump. They're saying, of the okay, leap. I fought with her, so I must have killed her. I mean, come on. I mean, that's. It's another thing. Uh, appeal to extremes. I'm gonna go all the way to the extreme and then make you doubt the extreme. I'm gonna call it out and then try to make you doubt it. But you and I both know she did it. She literally did that. You know, I, I don't even know who these people are. I, I can't even say I met any of these people. I mean, that's it's insane. I, I, if it happened. I honestly don't remember it. That's all I can tell you. I mean, I mean, but I don't know. I mean, would it be something you would remember? I mean, because it's I don't know if any other intense incidents in your life that have occurred. I mean, you'd recall those, right? I mean, well, like a use of force at work or a car crash, something you're involved in. You'd be like, yeah, I remember you would think I would remember. I mean, I would think if it was something that crazy. I mean, I, I can't say you say how many fights have you gotten into? You know, yeah. in your life. Too you know, many. I mean, a few at work. Well, um, fights at work are kind of know, different because we've all had uses of force or whatever. But well, I, mean, I haven't it, even had even a lot of those. I mean, right, but you know, if you're if you're actually, you know, I mean, I played like if if Dan and I got mad at each other and we threw blows in the squad room. I mean, twenty years later, I, I would remember it. I mean, I would think would I pretty, would remember it. But unique. that's that's what I'm saying. That's not sounding familiar to me at all. Everyone in I the mean, hospital I, saw I, it, Stephanie. Let me ask. That's not ringing a bell to me. So, <laughs> you know, I don't know. You know. It's, uh, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, that just sounds crazy to me. Yeah, so you, offhand, you don't recall ever going into her house and having words and physically, you know. No. Attacking I mean, her, her attacking you. No. Nothing like that? No, I mean, that's, no. Nothing. No. As a reminder, she walked into this woman's house on a calm day off. I think... What happened was Sherry didn't agree with something or something like that going on with her work. And so she decided to stay home that day so she didn't have to do that presentation. Already stressed about work. And then in comes Stephanie, who's been terrorizing them for years at this point, before the marriage even happened. And Stephanie comes in, big stick, walking tall, and starts talking shit to her. And I believe that Stephanie came in with the intent to kill her that day, if not just intimidate her, you know? comes in, literally beat the shit out of her, antagonized her, and then shot her. <laughs> and this is how this this is how she's responding. No. Oh, I don't know if I was at the house that day. No. no. Attacking I mean, her, her attacking you. No. Nothing like that? No. I mean that's no. Nothing. No. No. Not at all. Okay. Well, on some of the uh, on this case, you know, this is it occurred in eighty six. Right. Uh, detectives processed the scene, things of that nature. Uh, they did fingerprints and all that stuff. You know, the, well, you know the standard mm -hmm. stuff. I mean, you've been doing this longer than I have. Uh, well, not about that. <laughs> <laughs> I got 26 years on. Yeah. Going on 26. 19, so. <laughs> but. <laughs> I'm a bit. You know, as they processed everything, uh, they did the best they could at Here that time, and they looked at a lot of a lot of people, and different things in this case. And you're right. I mean, if you guys are claiming that I'm a suspect, then you know I, I got a problem with you know with that. Okay. Okay. So, you know, if you're if you're doing this as an interrogation, you're saying, hey, I'm a suspect. Well, I, now I got a problem with you know now you're accusing me of this. Is that what you're is that what you're saying? We're trying to figure out what happened, Stephanie. Once again, that's actually the tactic of trying to make you doubt yourself. Well, you're telling me I did this? Well, I've got a problem with that. I've got a problem with what you're doing. And you, you, think, you, you think that I am going to do that? Okay, well, and, and that, all of that to try to make you doubt yourself, right? Even though they have the DNA evidence right there. Do I need to get a lawyer if you're accusing me of I this? Mean you know, you don't have to. I mean, you know, I'm just, you're here of your own free will. I mean, no, you don't, well, I, I know, but I mean, I mean you know you're, not, you're not under arrest. You can walk out. You can leave whenever you like. Well, but, you know, it, I, I'm trying to honor. give you some background of, you know, how I knew him. And now you're telling me that some somebody's saying that we had this big old fight and I don't even know what you're talking about. Um, you know, and I don't want to, you know, get in trouble for something that I didn't even do or you're saying I did something. OK, yeah, we understand. I mean, how would you guys like it if the tables were turned on you? I understand. No. Um, 
No, that's what we're telling you. I mean, you're free to go whenever you want. If, if this makes you uncomfortable and you want to... Steve, well, now you're starting leave. to make me uncomfortable. Just go, the thing girl. is, I mean, detectives did what they could at that time on the crime scene, okay? And the burglary thing you're talking about, that is an angle that they looked at. I go, but now we're looking at everything else on the case. Because nobody was ever arrested on the case. I, I don't know that or not. Okay. Now, what we'd like to do is, obviously, you know about all the DNA stuff and things of the nature that, you know, gets done on cases nowadays. You know, if we asked you for a, a DNA swab, would you be willing to give us one? Maybe. Because <laughs> now, 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 uh, because now, now I'm thinking I probably need to talk to a lawyer. Okay. I mean, because well, I, I know Maybe how one about an hour ago. Wrong, you're right, I have been doing this a long time. Yeah. And, I, and I wish I had been recording this because, because now it sounds like, you know, there's you know, you're selling these people, say I'm fighting with her, and now it sounds like you're trying to, you know, it ain't nothing you I've ain't been doing this a long Stephanie. time. Yeah, we know. Okay, and, it, and now it almost sounds like you're trying to pin something on me. No, now I, I got that sense. Well, what it gets to on these, on these cases, and you know it as well as I do, our job is to identify and eliminate suspects. I can't believe this. So, if Dude, we I would to love to read, like, all the court sample, stuff on her. Swab, like, all the information they presented in court. And if I eliminate you, would you be willing to do that? Maybe. Because I know this, I, 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 I... Well, that's where we're at, too. I mean... Man, a comment like that really pins Stephanie to the wall. If we were to ask you for a DNA sample, would you be willing to give it to us so that we can completely clear you of this crime now? We were unable to completely clear you years ago with DNA because we didn't have it. Now we have it. So just give us a sample and you're completely off the hook. I mean, holy shit, are you pinned up against a wall? You can identify or eliminate you. Would you be willing to do that? Maybe. Because well, I know this. I, 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 I... Well, that's where we're at, too. I mean, because right now, from looking at the evidence, it's, you know, it's possible we may have some DNA at the location. Ooh, that's great. That bite and mark. We're going to do what we can to try to put this thing together. And your name's in the book. These people are pointing at you for whatever reason. <laughs> I don't know why. And that's just crazy. I mean, that's just, that's absolutely crazy. That's just crazy. crazy. And... It would be irresponsible on our part not to look at it. I know. You guys have to do your job, and, and I guess I'm going to have to contact somebody. Oh, my God. So, That's fair. I mean, because I, I know how this stuff works. Sure. I mean, I, 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 I just... That's I, I mean, we, we understand that. I mean, if we were in your position, I mean, we would feel the same way. I, I mean, I'm shocked. I'm really shocked okay. that somebody would be blamed, saying that I did this. I mean, we had a fight, and so I went and killed her. I mean, come on. Well... That's... Oh... Uh, okay. All right. Well, thanks for giving me the courtesy. We should take the court. Thanks, thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you. All right, Stephanie, take care. All right. <laughs> Bye, Stephanie.